time of flight allows you to measure particle velocity. Here you have start counter, here you have stop counter. The particle goes through start and stop counter and you're measuring time between start and stop counter. Yeah. At this level, about this level, we have the beam. And here is the beam line. And we locate our time of flight direct detectors on these tables. If you know this momentum and the velocity, you can measure mass of particle. And if you uh, can measure mass of particle, you're making particle ID, particle identification. I work in the accelerator division, which is the division that handles the machines that actually collide the particles. Uh, the recycler ring is an antiproton storage ring, and we circulate antiprotons until we send them to the Tevatron for a collider operation. The, the electron beam actually goes, it starts here, but then it goes down and it bends at a 180 degree angle, and it goes into the main injector tunnel, interacts with the antiprotons, and helps us get those very compact bunches. I mean, it has its own internal control system that came with it, and we have to interface with that so that it can talk to the computers here at Fermilab. And all of this stuff enables us to do that and to, to tell the different components what to do and when to do it. For each magnet, we do what we call a referencing, where we measure the entrance and exit of, of the magnet to fiducials that we placed on the magnet. Then based on these measurements we see on the screen, we can drive the component to the ideal spot. It's very important for the beam position monitors to work when we're turning things back on, because that's when it's most likely that we're going to have a problem and the beam's not going to be where it's supposed to be. I want to make sure that they can trust the readings that they're seeing from my equipment. We're very closely tied to universities here. That the atmosphere here is very academic. It's, a, it's just a huge community that, you know, everybody works together and their, their friendships are lifelong when you come here. What's important, uh, usually important, it's uh, the uh, spirit of community. Well, I think from the very beginning, our first director had a concept of wanting to make this a very diverse place. I have a colleague who's from Romania, a col another colleague who's from Germany. Uh, especially the young girls now, um, they, they like the challenge. You know, they, this is a great place if you want to be challenged. These young people will get brand new experience which will be useful for all their life. <laughs>